Problem 25. The nucleus of a gold 197 atom contains 79 protons. Assume that the nucleus is a sphere of radius 6.98 femtometer. Femto means here 10 to the power of minus 15, right? And with the charge of the proton uniformly spread through the sphere. At the surface of the nucleus, what are the magnitude and the direction of the electric field produced by the proton? That means we have to find the magnitude of the electric field and also we have to find what's the direction of the electric field. Because we studied in chapter number 22, for positive charge, the electrical field lines are radially outward direction and for negative charge, the field lines, the electrical field lines will be radially inward direction. So that answer we have to give for the second question. So here they mention gold 197 atom. So that means the atomic number of the gold here, they clearly mention that means this gold atom has Z value, which is atomic number of 79 protons. Clear? And also they said the nucleus is in the spherical shape. So let's we just draw the diagram. We have the spherical shape and this spherical has the radius from the center to here. What's the radius value? 6.98 femtometer. What's the meaning for femto? 10 to the power of minus 15 meter. So here this is the value of R. And we have to find at the surface of the nucleus. That means the here surface is nothing but from the center to the surface. The distance is R. R here is nothing but the radius. So radius, radius of the sphere is, remains the same in each and every place of the sphere, right? So if you find this, this distance from here to here, the center, the distance is R. So the radius value R, I have to write it here, 6.98 femtometer, which is 10 to the power of minus 15 meter. And now we have to find the electric field. As we know, the formula for the electric field is E is equal to K magnitude of the charge divided by the distance square. Clear? But here we must know the value of the charge because only Z value is given, which is the atomic number of the gold. So 79 protons it have. So first of all, what we have to do, we have to find the value of the charge. As we know, Q which is equal to N E, right? So N is the number, but here what's the number they mention? Z value. So Z number by multiplied by the charge. So we studied in charge quantization formula Q, which is equal to N E, where N is the number. So here what's the number here? Z, which is the atomic number. So the gold 197 atom has 79 proton. So I have to write the formula here. So now I have to substitute the value of the Z here, which is 79 proton. Proton takes the charge value of 1.6 multiply 10 to the power of minus 19. When I just multiply these two numbers, I got the answer for the charge as Q, which is equal to 1.264 multiply 10 power minus 17 and the charge unit is Coulomb. Clear? Now what I have to do, I have to take this charge, I have to substitute this one and K value is the constant. And in place of R, I have to use the radius. Once I substitute all this in this formula, we will get the magnitude of the electric field. So now I'm going to substitute the value. So E equal to K value is 8.99 multiply 10 power plus 9. And the charge value magnitude is 1.264 multiply 10 power minus 17 divided by R square is R value is given 6.99. 9, 8, multiply 10 power minus 15 square. So let's we see what's the answer for this. E equal to, here I got the answer as 2.332 multiply 10 power 21. And the unit for this electric field is Newton per Coulomb. This is the answer for the first question. But second question, we have to find the direction, whether the electrical field direction is radially outward direction or radially inward direction. As we know, this Z is nothing but 
79 proton proton is a positive charge so that means for positive charge so we have to give the answer for the b part for positive charge what will happen the field lines are radially outward direction am i right so these informations we studied in chapter number 22 so if you take a positive charge the positive charge field lines the electric field lines are radially outward direction so the answer for b part is the electrical field the direction of the electrical field is Radially outward from the surface. Why is radially outward? Because it's a positive charge. So the positive charge, the electrical field lines are radially outward direction. So this is the answer for this question. Thank you.